Hello Leo, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be your you versus them love reading. It will be a general love reading, so it won't resonate with every Leo watching. Feel free to check out your other placements for more messages. Timing is fluid, so the situation I talk about today could have already happened, be currently happening, or happen in the near future, and roles can be reversed. Okay, so even though I talk about Leo on one side and the other person on the other, um, feel free to flip the roles. All right, huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, commented on the videos. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments and I'm just grateful for all of the support. All right, Spirit, what do you have for, oops, what do you have for Leo and the person they are thinking about? And the person they are thinking about? Loyal heart, beautiful. Okay. Let me read that real quick because this um, Oracle deck has specific um, relationship messages for each of these cards. Your partnerships, friendships, and romantic relationships all have many qualities in common right now. Honest devotion, faithfulness, and a loyal heart are being shown to you. Now is the time for heartfelt commitments and trusting in divine protection. Well, that's beautiful. Interesting. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Spirit, what messages do you have for Leo and the person they are thinking about? What messages do you have for Leo and the person they are thinking about? All right, let's get into this, Leo. Spirit, tell me about the current energies between Leo and the person they are thinking about. The Hierophant, holy crap, okay. Messages for Leo and the person they are thinking about. Wow, beautiful. Did something else flip over? Okay. Look at this, King of Cups and the Hierophant. Love, commitment. Could be with a Taurus or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. Wow, this is beautiful energy. This is all about um, someone having deep emotions for someone else to the point that they're thinking long-term commitment. I wanna be literally bonded, bound to this person for forever. <laughs> That's what it is. So beautiful way to start. So Leo, I'm gonna have you on this side and the other person on this side over here. So just flip it as it resonates, like I said. So Spirit, how does Leo feel about this connection? And of course I dropped the first card. Hold on. All right, Page of Cups. How does Leo feel about this person? What are Leo's thoughts and feelings towards this connection? Thank you. Okay, so we have Six of Swords. Three of Cups. Okay. Well, this took like a weird turn. Some of you could be reuniting with someone long that lives long distance from you. Some of you, this person traveled a long way to give you this cup. Um, it doesn't have to be a really long distance, but I do feel like someone's traveling, getting in a car, getting in a plane, whatever the case. They're thinking reunion. They're thinking celebrating here. Someone could be offering you engagement with the higher font here. For a small number of you, and don't worry, I am gonna clarify all of these, but I just need to say what I feel when I see these energies. For a small number of you, the person you're in love with is already in a long-term commit commitment. I feel like you found out, this person came to you with an apology or an offer you found out and you pretty much ran um, because this was a third party situation. That's for a very small number of you, because remember the Oracle card was loyal heart. So I feel like this person, you've probably been with this person for a long time, or this is someone that's gonna be loyal to you for a long time. I am gonna clarify though. So let's start with this other person. What are the thoughts and feelings for this? Oh my God, my cards are just going crazy, okay. Knight of Wands, okay. And the Hermit. Well, that's very opposing energies right there. <laughs> So this person could be a Virgo or have Virgo in their chart. Um, doesn't have to be, but this person, I feel like they were probably impulsive in the past or 
really wanted to rush in but it kind of like they they checked out a little bit and were like no i have to think about this knight of cups around the deck it's like i need to do this right anything else for this other person like what is happening leo this is wow four of wands what what in the world is this reading this is crazy all right leo i'm gonna leave it there no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> but um this does feel i'm getting like almost too good to be true energy here someone it just feels like like too simple right like it just feels too simple of a reading but the only thing that's throwing me off is this six of swords but it could be that someone just lives at a distance from you um or you're just moving towards a more peaceful relationship or a more peaceful state in your relationship um, I have the world on the, under the deck. So there was some sort of closure or completion of something. Um, something here has been wrapped up and there's a new cycle um, taking place. Um, right behind that, I have the Eight of Swords. So I feel like maybe a lot of you, yeah, there was probably an ending of some sort or a transformation that took place that kind of took you out of your funk a little bit um but i feel like things are looking up if that's the case so let's clarify um these energies here tell me more about the higher font spirit tell me more about the okay we have queen of wands traction action someone definitely wants to take action here tell me more about the higher font why is the higher font here higher font is like my card for like marriage um, institutions, binding contracts, like a marriage contract. Okay. Five of swords. So someone here, I feel like there was, there was a defeat in something. Someone walked away from something unfair to them. Yeah. Justice. Could be a Libra that you're dealing with, doesn't have to be. But to me, this tells me with the Five of Swords, I feel like it could also be that this person wants to win you. I mean, because I don't see any, these cards are just too positive, right? Um, someone could be wanting to make a situation right, maybe a situation that wasn't, you know, great at first maybe they were had player energy um and messed up and now this time they want to come at you right with the hermit here um there also could be listening to their inner voice and um you know they don't want to lose this time what's behind the justice card queen of cups yeah they want to make something right with someone that they love they want to defend something stand up for something have courage to approach and the situation to make it right and they want victory with the chariot tell me more about the hierophant and the king of cups tell me more about the hierophant and the king of cups please thank you five of cups see this person has had regret over the past and that's why they want to make things right ten of pentacles um, for the small number of you that this person was married, um, this person wasn't a long-term commitment. And I feel like you found out, you took action, you left, and this person's sad now, too bad. But for others of you, this person's just, uh, I feel like they messed up in the past. Tell me more about this, okay? Empress, yeah, they messed up in the past. They're looking at you as their empress. They, they want to build with you. This is also a wife or mother figure with the Empress. This could be two people as well. I'm just mentioning it because I, I mean, it's in my head. Doesn't have to be, but this could be two people here. And that's why I have the Three of Cups. So tell me about this Page of Cups though. Tell me more about this Page of Cups. This could be an apology, like I said. This person could be wanting to reconcile with you or just this is someone that wants to offer you love. Jeez, dropping the cards back here. All right, we got Temperance. 
Sagittarius energy. Um, this person could be wanting to heal a situation. Tell me more about the Page of Cups. Tell me more about this Page of Cups for Leo. Yeah, Two of Swords. This person's wondering um, if you're going to accept. Or maybe you don't know if you want to accept. I feel like you don't know. Someone's going back and forth here in their mind about whether to accept this offer from the past with the Six of Cups. You could be focused on the future here, Leo. Yeah. You could be focused on the future. You might not accept this offer. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Tell me about the Six of Swords, please. What's the Six of Swords about? I feel like you're walking or moving towards something more stable. Four of Pentacles. Interesting. Anything else for the Six of Swords for Virgo? I feel like you're walking away because you're protecting yourself, guarding your heart, protecting what's yours. Why the Six of Swords? Wait, why the six of judgment? You made a judgment call. Wow, this reading took a turn, Leo. Yeah, you guys were weighing the pros and cons, what to do, which option to take. You went for the stable one with the King of Pentacles. Yeah, you didn't want to look up for anything else that wasn't long term commitment. I feel like this person has figured that out, and that's why they're trying to offer you this stability. Uh, tell me about the Three of Cups. What's the Three of Cups doing here for Leo? Tell me about the Three of Cups. Tell me about the Three of Cups for Leo. Okay, King of Swords and Eight of Cups. Some of you are not going to accept this offer. You're not going to want to reunite with this person. You're walking away from this energy, Three of Cups energy. It could be walking away from a third party. It could be walking away from a reunion. Um, but with King of Swords there, it's like you're cutting it out, whatever it is. Magician and what's behind that? And the Fool. Yeah, you're manifesting something new. You want something new, something loyal, something stable. You're not going to accept anything else. So tell me about this Knight of Wands. What is up with this person? The world and the high priestess. Okay, so they're going through their own cycle here. Probably trying to get closure here. They're, there's something unknown though. They're trying to figure out how you feel maybe. Trying to figure out if this is what, you know, I feel like they're trying to listen to their inner voice here. Um, I feel like their inner voice intuition is telling them to go for it. To fight for this with the seven of wands under the deck. They want a new cycle here. Tell me about the hermit. Yeah, they're trying not to give up hope here. They still have hope, still have faith. Um, tell me about the Hermit. It could be an Aquarius or a Virgo. Okay, all of these cards. We got Death and the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like this person has changed or has healed, um, has faith. Yeah, they've healed and they want to offer new love with um, the Four of Swords there. They're thinking, yep, Ace of Wands under the deck. This person is very serious about this offer. They've gone through major changes in their life. They're healing from whatever situation they had to close as well. They, they probably messed up really bad in the past here and they have realized this. Tell me about the Four of Wands. three of wands. So they're waiting for the results of something. They're waiting to see if you're going to accept this offer of stability. Tell me more about this four of wands. Yep. King of pentacles. They want to, they want to show you that they are, they are thinking about commitment. Now they're thinking about stability. Now they want to offer this to you. And with page of swords, you could be, um, they could be contacting you via social media. 
sending a text, um, waiting for a result back. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. They're like, I wonder if they're going to respond. I wonder if they're, this is going to take off here. And they're stuck in their head about this. They cannot, they, they don't want to give up on this connection. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope that this resonated with some of you. Please leave a comment if this situation is resonating with you and you can fill in the gaps for me um, about, you know, who are all these people? What's going on here? Will you accept this offer? I love hearing your comments and reading them. Um, thanks again to everyone who has liked, subscribed, commented, or participated in the channel recently. I really appreciate your support and I hope I see you back in another video. Take care.